back students now we'll do another activity activity is uh, use arduino to adjust the volume of piezo buzzer using potentiometer okay so here i'll show you the circuit diagram so here we have arduino board and breadboard so this is the buzzer buzzer you know produce some sound beep sound okay so this is actually the one which produce the output sound or any movement is output device and this is the potentiometer so this see there is a needle when you rotate this needle okay based on the rotation this buzzer will produce a sound okay so this is input device it will not give the buzzer will not give the sound okay automatically we need to manually move the needle of the push button or the potentiometer or variable resistor they are different names variable resistance potentiometer okay and here when we rotate this needle no the resistance increases that time based on the value the uh, which one buzzer will produce sound okay so i know this is difficult for you so many connections what i will do i gave you another circuit this is your circuit okay same thing arduino or red board any one board on top of the board you put groove connector okay on the groove connector i want to connect two device one is potentiometer this is potentiometer this is connected to analog pin a0 because this we rotate rotate yani we are having many values not just one or zero so when we are using this potentiometer the input should be analog analog and it will be starting from 0 to say 255 that number of values will be 1 2 3 continuous values not like 0 and 1 digital mafi so this is analog so we need to have connect the potentiometer into the analog port i connected in a0 and the output device i connect the buzzer it's a digital device so i will connect this into digital port i think this two digital port two okay instead of connecting this one this is actually in the tinker CAD or we can do the same in the breadboard no need of breadboard so many connections okay breadboard no need no connect so many connections okay so here i will connect the buzzer to second pin you know the buzzer is output device so in the setup function pin mode of two comma output yani the pin the device connected in pin number two the mode is output and pin mode a0 comma input means the device connected in pin a0 the mode should be input okay so this device is input device why mr because once you rotate that uh, potentiometer your input okay you are giving the input by rotating the potentiometer based on that rotation value this buzzer produce the beep sound this is output device connected in digital pin 2 this is analog device connected in analog pin a0 okay now uh, i return the code same code here okay so first setup function i need to initialize the pin and its mode so pin mode of two comma output means in the pin number two i connected the output device any buzzer and it is output and you know pin mode pin small capital m then small od and in a0 analog pin a0 i connected the potentiometer variable resistance so it is input device that's why pin mode a0 comma input now inside the loop statement okay i am having a value say p value so just declare the data type okay either you can declare outside in p value or you can write inside loop okay into p value equal to analog read of a0 i am going to read the value of device connected in pin number a0 as i told you in the pin number a0 i connected potentiometer this is potentiometer or this one is potentiometer this is an analog device the values will be just keep on rotating it's not like 0 and 1 it has many values from 0 to 255 okay that's why i am reading analog analog means continuous value 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to 255 minimum okay that's why i write the code here i am going to read the value of a0 and the value i read is using the function analog capital read i am reading the value of the pin a0 it's not 1 or 0 1 or 0 means i could have used digital pin digital device but this is like push button i can use button press means high button release means low but here not like that i am rotating not just pressing rotating the needle that of the potentiometer no that's why it have more values 1 2 3 like that okay that's why analog read and the value i am reading no it will be stored in p value variable now this the device which is connected to pin number two any yani buzzer and the buzzer also 
should produce different sound based on the value you give okay if i give the value as one means if i get the value of uh, potentiometer is one means it will produce one sound if it is two means another sound so this when you turn on turn the potentiometer more okay rotate the potentiometer more potentiometer more means more sound will come from the buzzer that's why i write analog write off 2 comma p value usually we used to turn on the buzzer means we'll write digital write off particular uh, buzzer pin comma high or low but here i don't want to simply make a sound i want to make a sound based on the value we receive here from the potentiometer rotation okay so that's why i write analog write off 2 comma p value okay based on this when you run the program it will produce beep sound initially when the potentiometer is rotated rotation is less many it is rotated beginning means less sound when i rotate more this will produce more sound that you can do it on sunday or monday okay so just i will compile this one this is compiling the code okay now upload the code to arduino this compilation means i am checking the errors or not okay this one i am uploading the code now uploading done no error now i just press my this one i produce a sound okay see when i uh, rotate the potentiometer it keeps on giving sound more sound when i keep the potentiometer high less sound when i reduce it understood this is the output i cannot see i cannot show you you can i think that you can listen that sound okay now i'll stop recording okay Stop recording. Double press my stop recording. Not here. 